Hey guys, Matt Stafford here. I am so excited about this particular teaching because there's a lot of you out there that desire to establish a six-figure income working out of your house. That's the reason I do my videos at my house because I want to show you just what I do. There's a couple of links you can click if you'd like. One is about a six-figure income. You can start by joining an academy. You can hit that free webinar. And I've also, I believe I hit a link down below about my own personal business because I do the things that I teach. I'm just not teaching theory. I'm teaching practical application, things that have helped me over the years. And I mean years, I mean the last three years, guys. This is not something I have done all my life. I'm 51 years old, probably around the 47, 48 year mark. I was a late bloomer, but some of these things just started to materialize in my own life, in my mind. And once I got them right, I was able to start walking out certain things. But I want to ask you today, are you ready for your $100,000 home business? And there is, you have to be prepared for this. A lot of people are just overly complicating the matter. What they're doing is they're like, man, what can I do? I need to earn extra income. I need to go out and buy this and try to sell my family and my friends and, and all that. You don't have to do any of that, you guys. Simplify the matter, and that's what I'm going to do for you today. There's one thing you need to do. Then there's a couple things that come after that as a byproduct of this one thing. That's it. Stay with me. One thing. Go ahead and tag somebody in this video. They're going to need to hear this one thing that's going to change their life. It's going to revolutionize who they are and what they do in this life. So I want to give you this one thing and then the two things that are going to be a byproduct. It's going to be a positive domino effect. So what is the one thing that you got to do in order to be ready for your $100,000 business. You have got to change your environment. This is so key. What do I mean by that? There's a couple things I mean by this. I mean people, and I also mean places. You have got to change both of these. Now, it doesn't mean you get rid of all the people in your life, okay? Family and friends and things like that. I'm not, you know, advocating go out and just say, hey, I'm just solo in this thing. Man, it's all me. No, you need support. You need people in your life that's going to be able to compliment you and maybe um, do some certain things in your life where you, you've identified your strengths and weaknesses. And so you bring some people in your team that can uh, go ahead and do certain things in your life and your business you can't do. But I'm talking about these people here, the naysayers. I'm talking about people that are negative. You've got to get rid of those people in your life. Now, if they're if family or very important to you, again, you don't excommunicate them, but you spend less time with them, all right? And you do not seek business advice from people that don't know how to get there, people that are, are just aspiring to get there. And that's, that's great. That could be some energy there, but get with people that have already done it, okay? Now, we make, my wife and I, over six figures and and I want and that's the reason I'm doing this whole teaching for you guys because I know what it's like to be at a place where I'm working nine to five or eight to six or whatever the hours may be and I'm just not getting to where I want to get to. And so what you need to do is get rid of some of these people, change your environment. Now what about the places? This is very interesting. This is this is a subtle twist that will help you. And it's not going to, this is going to sound counterintuitive. It's not going to make a whole lot of sense when I say this initially, but let it sink in and I believe it will help you because it's something that's helped me. The places that you want to change. I'm going to put two of them down. Hotels, restaurants. Now you might be immediately thinking, hey, I need to save for my $100,000 business. So let me go out and find a $69 motel somewhere, not even a hotel, but a motel. <laughs> Let me find something like that. You know what? That's the wrong mentality. What you have to do in order to make this subtle twist is you've got to save if you have to. And I had to do this initially. I had to save money to go to some of the most expensive hotels that are out there. And the reason I did this, it tricked my mind into thinking over time that I belong there. That's the amazing thing about it. Same with restaurants. You know, instead of eating at McDonald's every other day or, and now I'm not against fast food. If you follow me and you know me, some of you guys know me now, have known me for a long time, I'll go to Chick-fil-A, okay? I posted, I love Chick-fil-A. But there's times in my life when I go out on a date with my wife, we go to some of the most expensive restaurants and the reason we do that is the more you do that, the more you think you belong. Now, you may have to save up some money to get there, right? 
But now the restaurants, I look for valet parking. Is there valet parking? If there's not, that's a, that's a negative for me. If it is, that's a positive. Now, my wife likes it because I usually park about a mile away, just to let you know. So if I'm parking a mile away, she loves to be dropped off right at the front door. So we do that. Get a glass of wine. Okay, go beyond that. Get a bottle of wine sitting on the table. Okay? Now, it's not about going out and showboating. I'm not saying you're just going out there and flashing money and things like that, but I'm saying you've prepared for it. It's not going to hurt you. You're not going to, you're going to be able to pay your electric bill, your mortgage, or whatever else you got going on, but it tricks your mind into thinking you belong there. And so then you start walking with a whole nother level of confidence, right? So what happens when you do these things, the byproduct is <clears throat> you're going to have a boost of energy without even consuming an energy drink okay <laughs> this is just a byproduct I'm hanging around great people successful people people that have done this and more and places that I go to now I strategically go to these places when I can afford it not to put me in debt but when I can afford it, I'm not advocating going out and blowing your credit card up so you can go to these places I'm talking about saving your money so you can get to these places and your, it tricks your mind, and now this energy, okay, or you might want to say excitement comes upon you. You start going, wow, man, we're living life now. This is all preparation for you to get to your $100,000 home business. That's where I'm at right now. You can click the link below and listen to a $100,000 opportunity, you know, and get into the senior living referral business, or you can check out my website and see what we do. And this is all we do. I'm telling you, this is how I got started. So I want to share it with you. But there's a level of excitement. This level of excitement I'm talking about is a kid mentality. You remember when you were a kid? Four, five, six, seven years old, as far as back as you can remember? Man, you wanted to be like a professional ball player. That was me. I want to, man, I want to, uh, I want to play in the NFL. And that wasn't not, not going to happen probably. I mean, I had average skills, but that was, man, my mindset. I remember one time my mom showed me this little book. I wanted to be a cowboy. Really? A city boy like me wanted to be a cowboy. I think it had a lot to do with my mom and dad watching a lot of the Westerns. And so I was watching Gunsmoke and all the rest. And I had that kid mentality. That's what changing your environment will do. It will be a subtle twist and it will give you this kid mentality that you have this feeling you can do anything, anywhere you go, you're the best. And I'm telling you, that is a huge deal when you're preparing to get ready for your $100,000 home business. Now think about running track or whatever you've done in life. There's things that you have to prepare for, right? I say track because I didn't like track, but you still have to prepare for it. You had to practice. You had to run a couple miles a day, sometimes longer to get to wherever you want to go. When you get that meet, you've got to, you're prepared for it. Some people are, are setting out to do a $100,000 business and they're not even prepared for it, man. They're not even ready for it. You've got to be ready to receive this. And this is how you do it. Change your environment. It will, the byproduct is your energy will go up. And then when your energy goes up, guess what happens then? This is the fun part here. <clears throat> expectation. Oh my God, your expectation will rise. That is the fun part. You start looking for it. You start going, what other areas I'm going to be blessed in? I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about relationships, health, all the rest. But I am in, in talking about a $100,000 business here. So the expectation that you're going to have is going to be greater each and every day. Instead of waking up negative, you're waking up positive. Instead of waking up going, man, what's wrong? You know, what's, what's going to happen wrong to me today? You're thinking, what's going to happen right for me today? And that is the greatest thing about it. And that is the faith element. That is the, the whole area. That This is a game changer, guys. I'm telling you. This right here is a game changer. When you are looking for something, you will find it. Look for that red car. You will find it. Look for that brown building. You will find it. What you set out to look for, you will find it. And that's what expectation does. But it starts with changing your environment. The byproduct is the energy level will skyrocket. And... The expectation will be, no big deal, I'm getting there. That's how I did it. That's how I want you to do it. Again, you can click the link below, listen to the free webinar. If you know me, hit the wild face, man. Somebody hit a wild face for me. Hit a wild face.
but also tag somebody because there's somebody out there that you know that's sitting down right now in the living room going, I want to have a $100,000 home business. What do I do? They're flooded with so many opportunities. They're flooded with so much noise. They don't understand it's this simple to do it. I'm not even saying do what I do. Do what you want to do, but start by changing your environment. Watch your energy level go up and then your expectation will just rise and you'll start to believe in yourself like never before. You'll have that kid mentality and you will be a success. I can't wait to hear your stories and your testimonies. Love you. Appreciate you. God bless. I'll talk to you next time.